Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in this quick Adobe XD tutorial I'm going to show you this button reveal. So here we have this button, when I click it's going to reveal, so if I go back one more time to show you, we have this split right here which is obviously not visible uh, in the design itself but just in a prototype a little bit and when you click it's going to reveal and show the text below. So let's get started. Before we get started with today's tutorial, make sure to check out my membership, link is going to be down in the description below. Membership contains all of the courses, all of the design products and project files for these YouTube videos, so if you want to get this project file alongside all previous and future project files, make sure to check it out, once again link is going to be down in the description below. Now this one is quite fast, so I'm not going to waste too much of your time. So if I open it up, you can see that we have just a regular component with a mask. So I'm going to simply copy this, uh, not to uh, waste too much time. So here is our original button, and here I prepared these two colors like so. So I'm going to close this original mask, and I'm going to use my text tool, type in click me. And I have open sans uh, semi bold 70. So I'm going to position it right here. And I'm going to uh, make a duplicate of it. Double click and type in well done. Like so. Then I'm going to position well done below. Hit control D to duplicate this one. Call it a mask. And for the mask, I'm going to use this color. I'm going to position the mask just above. And now we're going to uh, get started to be uh, a little bit creative. So I'm going to hide this well done like so, and I'm going to use a rectangle, simply position my rectangle like this, and you can go uh, with the center of your button, so find that it's right here. Hit Control D, position this one right here, and if you don't want to see that crease, uh, what you need to do is simply remove the border, and let's actually give them color, I'm going to use this color, and you can make them overlap just a little bit if you want to, so you can move this uh, one pixel to the left, this one pixel to the right, and obviously you can stretch this out however much you want, because it's going to be hidden by mask anyways. So I'm going to uh, call this one right, call this one left, all left side, or whatever you want to call them, position them just below click me text, and you can see right here that they are overlapping. Show our mask and you can mask all of it like sh shift control M or shift command M if you're on a Mac and I'm going to call this button because I already have this one called BTN. Hit control K to create a component. We have default state, click right here, new state and call it clicked. So before we move on, I want to do one thing. So I have this text right here. I'm going to select it, go right here to the object on top locate my path and click convert to path. I'm doing this just because now I have it as a path, not as a text, so I can actually scale it up and down if we want to, and I'm going to do the same for this one, so object, path, convert to path, or you can use control command plus eight. Now that that's done, I'm going to rename it, well done, just so I know what it is, and this is going to be click me, like so. So I'm going to uh, actually use this one, well done, Hold my shift, alt and left click just to scale it down a little bit, so it's right here. So if I hide all of these things, you are going to be able to see it if I bring my opacity up, so it's like that, like so. And what I'm going to do is bring all of these things up, like this, in my default state, then go back to my click state and this is where the magic is going to happen, so I'm going to use my well done, bring it back to uh, 100 opacity, hold shift, alt and left click just to scale it up a little bit until it's roughly the size of the click me text, then I'm going to use my click me text, hold shift, alt and left click, enlarge it a little bit and bring the opacity down, so zero two times, like so. Then I'm going to use my left one and I'm going to simply hold my shift and nudge it, like this, out of the way completely, use the right one and do exactly the same thing. So here we have the well done text revealed and click me is now hidden. Now finally let's go to the prototype, go to the default state, you can click right here, tap auto animate, go to the clicked state obviously, you can use ease out because it's going to ease out into the animation or you can go with easy not however you want, I'm going to leave the one second to be there and if I hit preview, just to see what we have created, click on the click me, you can see how that's done and it's the same for this one. 
So that's basically it for this tutorial. It's a really quick one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this shorter tutorials, let me know. I'm going to create a lot of them in the future for forms, buttons, and uh, different styles for Adobe XD uh, objects and animations. So if you're interested, make sure to subscribe and make sure to like this video if you liked it and you found it helpful. Until next time, take care.